everybody. We are jamming on the job video style. What's good? This is That's what's right. up, man. This what's up, man. What's good, Shani? How you doing today? You looking all looking all happy and gorgeous. Look at you. Uh, man, I'm good. My phone keep on ringing though. People wait till I start working to start calling. Well, of course, and they also calling to see what's up with the podcast. Where, where y'all at? Where, where the show at? Where the show at? I know, I know right? And it's like, well, y'all just gonna have to hang tight. We getting it. We are getting it together. That's exactly well, first off, we got to say uh, thank you to everybody that's liked us on Facebook over the last 24 hours. Almost 200 plus likes. We really do appreciate y'all. We see y'all checking for us, and we love y'all for that. We appreciate it. We do. And you know what? I want to shout out a couple of people. Let's see. Who was the very first person to like our page? Probably Tamara. It was probably Tamara Turnbo. I know she was the first person to follow us on Twitter. Um, right. But, like, so many people came through on the Facebook page. We appreciate you. Um like it and share it. If there is a topic that you would like for us to talk about, well, all you got to do is send it to yes. us because guess what? We got an email address too, and it is jammin, J A M M I N, on the job at gmail.com. And we check that right. so you can send us whatever you want there. I just what love the fact that you're just so, so, you're just so excited. And I get to see your excitement on your face, I get to actually see it. Um, oh yeah, cause yeah, you kind of you know did me dirty earlier, but it's all well, right. See, let's get to, let, let's get into it because I'm I I don't know. Apparently, Shani said that I said something about Apparently, her. I don't I don't know what I said, and I don't. Oh, I'm about don't to call you by your government right name. You yes, <laughs> you said it. You said it. <laughs> she looking at the screen at the, at the little box you said it <laughs> yes you said it you, you said it you I, said it. i did not mean to say whatever it is that I, for starters i don't even know what i said i don't even know what i said to to warrant uh to this this discussion what did i say sean you said it you said i won uh i won doo basically Oh my God! Oh, that's, and I do recall saying. Now, this is what I said. We were having, we were having a discussion about chivalry and how chivalry is dead. Uh-huh. And I did recall saying that you got these old players hanging, at, uh, getting at you. So I don't know why you feel like you you're not wanted by a lot of people. That but I know, it, but it came out. But uh, but it, see, that's what that, I'm saying. But it no, came let, out let's stick to what that. you say. Say what you said, not what you. I don't know what I said. I didn't say it like that though. What you said was, "Don't nobody want you, but them old people." And uh, you know why ain't nobody trying to talk to you? That's what you I, said. That's not what I said. That is exactly I don't what you said. Like that, but because now I feel like a legit scumbag. Okay, well, <laughs> if I did say that, I feel like a legit that's scumbag. That's what you said. Pray the chocolate say... jock was sitting right there. He heard you too. That's what you said. Uh, so that's that's I'm what sorry. you was thinking. That's what's in your mind. That's what's in your heart, and that's fine. That is not what's in my mind, and it's not what's in my heart. Now you should know better than that. You should know me by now, and it's not like that. See, uh, now I'm feeling like a real scumbag because now I got the eyes of, of Shawnee Scott upon me. <laughs> give, me give me that nigga what look. <laughs> well, you said it. And, and like I always tell people, you are the first person to know what you're going to say because you're thinking it. So you got to watch what you say because once them words come out, you can't go back and take it back. You done said it. It's out there in the atmosphere. So the only people that like me is men that's 85 plus. And apparently, I ain't gonna never have a man, according to males on MIC. That is not what I know. Now you know good and damn well I didn't say that, that you ain't gonna have a man. Now you you see you slandering me in the public here. Oh, okay. That's what you call it. That's what you call it, slander. Sonny, I just wanna say publicly in front of everybody, Uh I'm sorry. And I accept your apology. Maybe I deserve. Tank is gonna sing that to me on Thursday. All the hell that I'm getting right now. I don't, but I, I'm so sorry for saying that. I didn't mean that. That is not what I meant. That is not what I meant. I just, I, what I meant to say was that there are a lot of men that are very interested in you, mm-hmm. and it's not just old players. Because you be getting these inbox messages. You be telling me about these inbox messages. Somebody said that she was cute today, and the first thing out your mind is, "What you want me to do with that?" What that ain't that? that ain't because that ain't what he said. <laughs> he said something else 
And I'm like, I I mean, some of the, like, some of the messages that y'all send, it's just, I mean, mm-hmm. you know, really, a lot of people, I take a lot of it as people are just being polite. I don't always look at it as, oh, they trying to holler at me. Because that's not the case. Everybody don't want to holler at you. Everybody don't want to holler right. at me. Um, but some of the messages, it's just like, okay, yeah, what am I supposed to do with this? What do you mean? Because it be so far off. Like, wow. But I replied, I said, thank you. I mean, but that's, but in most cases, that's when, yeah, that's a guy's entree to shoot his shot with you and let you know that, 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 that they want to, to, to be hit with you. But and you, t- but you totally disregard those messages. That ain't true. <laughs> I plead the fifth. It's the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> you plead the fifth. That's, that's not true. I don't. I don't disregard them. I've actually, you know what? I did the online dating thing last year and part of this year, right? And mm-hmm. I even okay, a dude inboxed me. Okay. Okay. I actually, I said, okay, you know what? I'm gonna see what happened with this. Okay. It didn't get far. It didn't get past the day. Because okay. dude inboxed me and wanted me to come to an event that he was having. And I was like, okay, cool. So I called Tamara, of course. I said, girl, you going with me to this event? Because this dude inboxed me and he wants me to, you know, come. So I don't mind going. All right? right. We talking back and forth, texting back and forth about the arrangements and where mm-hmm, and what mm-hmm. time. And for me, I'm like, hold up. I said, just just call me. Just call me because this is too much going back and forth. We can finish this in a conversation in seven minutes. All this texting is too much and I'm driving. He told me, um, I got to go charge my phone. I'll call you in 20 minutes. <laughs> now, your girl got to leave and go to work is what it is. <laughs> that's, that's what that is. And then I looked at his age, and I'm like, okay, now you you on something different. And so right there, it stopped. But, you know, now he did call. He Please called in you. 20 minutes. But I ain't answer the phone because I was like, no, you, I mean, you, you sitting up here texting me, but your phone about to die. I'm, okay. Yeah. Yeah. To check in with his wife. He Everybody got an ear. What's up with it? You know, when my phone about to die, I put my phone on charge and I put my earpiece on, walk around the house. I have a conversation. What's up? What you mean? You ain't got no earpiece. Okay. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying though. So, so you get all these, well, it's been a while since you did online dating. Uh, but I uh, but I already warned you about that before. That I believe online dating is a bunch of just hookup sites. It's not really meant yeah. for meaningful, lasting relationships. Nah, I I do it. I still have one. I got one app on my phone. Uh, Plenty of fish. I it's uh, a, it's uh, a, the, you know what uh, I use it for. Uh, and, and, Every fella that's watching this and every fella <laughs> on this podcast listening is probably saying, oh, that's the worst one right there. Yeah. Oh, I only I only <laughs> use it for like an ego boost. Cause, and, and like a lot of times, because, you know, me and my girls, we have these apps. And mm-hmm. when we all get together, we give each other our phones. And it ain't even us talking back to the people. It's, you know, Tamara usually talking for me. She respond to the guy. And we it's a joke. You know, we just be sitting there right. playing. I ain't going to have nobody on Plenty of Fish. Stay woke, fellas. Stay woke on Plenty of Fish yeah. there, fellas. Stay Be woke. careful. Because we playing, we playing <laughs> games on them dating sites. <laughs> yes. We playing there games. You there you go. You heard it first, fellas. There you go. You heard it here first. So stop spending your money signing because they let the lady sign up for free and make you spend twenty nine ninety five a month. If you ain't on to that scam yet, I don't know what to tell you, fellas. So wake up. Stay woke. And and go out in public and shake hands and kiss babies and meet women. So that's what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. In 2016. Stop being lazy. All right. Let's talk about uh, things. People, lies your- things your coworkers lie about at work. Right. Lies that your co. And uh, your coworkers lie and say, "Oh, I met this dude on such and such app, and we going out and we getting married." And I be like, "For real? It happened like fine. that." What are some? What are some of the most? I know one of the most outrageous lies we always hear in our line of work is it's in your email. Check your email. Oh it's yeah, right. I didn't get that email. And so <laughs> that, that's why on all the emails I sent out, I put I checked the little box to let me know if they got it and if they right. opened it. So when they say <laughs> I ain't get it, I'll be like, okay, I know what that's about. Oh yeah, 
And if you check our Twitter feed, there was a hilarious one where Nini, we used Nini's uh, video picture and <laughs> said, yes, yeah. I'm listening. Yeah. That, you know what? That is so me. Because I usually I, I'm yeah, in the studio. Yes, because I get that about 20 times a day with you. <laughs> <laughs> I have my phone on speaker and people just be calling and I just had a speaker on and I be listening. Well, I be doing no, other stuff. No, you don't be listening. I be listening, but I be doing other stuff too. <laughs> Oh Lord! Now everybody wants to be while I'm in the middle of my in the middle of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are some of the lies that your coworkers tell? Hit us up on our Twitter, our Facebook, and our Instagram pages, and let us know. Hashtag lies your coworkers tell or lies you hear at work. Uh, let us know, and uh, we gonna uh, share some of those answers and maybe on the next podcast. All right? Yeah, we gonna start right? seeing if anybody did anything. Ain't nobody did nothing. Okay right now yeah uh, you know people be like girl that's cute what you got on girl your hair is the bomb where did you get them bundles from, from knowing them bundles look like straw <laughs> oh yeah yeah and you what and then the they say oh girl your hair cute and her wig look like she done had it for 50 years it's like no it is time for a new one stop telling that lie yeah they be lying boy that's why I, that's why i'm kind of glad because when we be lying to each other we was together like working together, like in the office every day. If me and you worked in the office, yeah, would we lie to each other? Yeah, would we tell each other lies like that? Do you think? Do you think no. that would happen? I mean, because we we'd be now we're friends now. I mean, we've evolved past coworkers. We're friends now, but I'm just saying though. I've never lied to you, but I have held off on telling you something. Yes, you have yeah, done I, I'll wait because I'm like, okay, let me let him kind of go through this before I just say, bam, this is it. But I ain't never lied to you. Now, if it was trash, I told you that's how trash. <laughs> I like how, now see, I get to see this face now. And <laughs> that's how I know it's real. <laughs> that's how I know it's real. <laughs> if it was whack, I just thought you looked at that. That ain't going to work. That's not going to work. But I, I, I am slow and I'm, I'm slow. May, I'm I'm slow with men more than I am with women because y'all got ego issues and pride issues and stuff and so it's like you know some some men like to figure out stuff on their own and I get it that it can be a little intimidating I, yes I do have a lot of experience in this and I would like to say that I know it like the back of my hand I can do this in my sleep make it look easy but yeah I'll, I'll hold back because you know you don't want to now, if it was something that I knew, okay, he getting ready to walk down the alley and the bear is in the alley, I would just tell you, look, man. <laughs> a bear is up. in the alley. But, I mean, it's stuff that, yeah, I've held back on, but I, I ain't going to lie to you. Have you but ever you, lied you, to me? No, I ain't never lied to you because. But you I don't have, have lied to, to somebody. I've lied to a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have you have set up some uh, situations and. I, we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that. We ain't gonna talk about that. Yes, I have. I. I, I mean, I'll be the first to admit I have engaged in some workplace treachery. <laughs> yes, you have, and and when you did it, I was like, "Dang, that's my dude right there." <laughs> did you see why I did it though? I was being petty as hell. You got it. Sometimes you got to be petty as hell. I mean, I understand that you, yeah. you're gonna be petty as hell, and you're gonna find and and a, a situation presents itself to you that says, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and throw my petty hat on today. <laughs> and right. Go ahead and do that. <laughs> yeah. And so yes, I have engaged in some some shady workplace shenanigans and tactics uh, that we should not discuss on these here podcasts. Because uh, people might be listening. So, do you think just, that the pilots at Spirit lied about anything, or do you think they were upfront? Do you think they told? Apparently, they didn't tell them that they well, wanted to work. I, 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 I haven't heard this story about Spirit. So, tell me about the story with Spirit. Okay, so um, people were being arrested at I can't remember what airport. I'd have to look it up on my computer, and I can't because I'm on here with you. But right. um, Spirit canceled. They say like forty or fifty, a, a lot of flights. Um, and the people that were flying, the passengers got mad, started fighting. So they had to call the police and arrest some of them. Now, the reason why they had to cancel the flights is because the pilots are on strike, <laughs> you know, oh. and it's like, okay, you might not want to get your ticket on spirit right now. And, um, 
Somebody else told me that sometimes their flights are delayed on Spirit. They fly Spirit a lot and the flights are delayed a lot because they'll have to wait for a flight attendant to arrive because maybe one flight attendant worked too long and then they have to leave with mm-hmm. this many people. So they have to call somebody to come in and do it. So that's the I issue mean, with Spirit. I mean, that's the well, let's be clear here. Everybody knows that they fly in Spirit because the, the you're getting what you paid for. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because, you know, uh, I was going to fly Spirit to Miami for this Bahamas trip, but I think I'm going to go on and I'm going to try to rock with the well, yeah, well, your options are running slim and low at this point because you got United kicking niggas, kicking people up, uh, kicking people and beating people off the plane. Now you got Spirit fighting and they ain't got no pilots. So your options are running pretty slim at this point. I think it might be better if you just take the mega bus or you just drive to Miami at this point because taking a flight in America. Look, I just came from all these airports a few weeks ago going to D.C. It is a nightmare. It is, take a bus? Are, and, Did you say take a bus? Yeah, I said take a bus. Yeah, I said it. What you going to do? Well, at, this point, at this point, at this point, uh, that's what I'm getting to now about flying in America. Having been in these airports, I literally was in DFW uh, a couple weeks ago and saw this white man screaming, man, I paid for a first class ticket and you mean to tell me you overbooked for first class? And that told me right then and there. That told me right then and there. Flying in America at this point in time, while as long as the Cheeto Man is in office with travel bans and all this other time, we, I wouldn't do it. I would just rather take a bus. Just get me on the bus and let me ride over there. At least it's peaceful. I (laughs) I ain't got to worry about somebody overbooking the damn bus. (laughs) I'm I'm not going to be able to ride the bus to Miami. I just drove to (laughs) Miami with my daughters in bag and took them to the bus. No, I got to fly. (laughs) <laughs> I'm going to fly there. I'm going to fly. See, that's the difference, though. That's the difference. You took them kids with you. Any road trip with children is a test of your human endurance. No, I am not getting on a bus with a whole bunch of people that I don't know to ride that far. Now, if I was going to Houston, I might hop on the bus. That's just a couple of hours. But you talking about 22 hours, dude. Yeah, let's get on the bus. I don't want to catch no more flights in 2017. I'm, uh, these people what are acting crazy. You? For something. They're acting crazy in these airports, Shawnee. I'm just saying. Take the train. Maybe I'll take the train. That's what we need to take the train. What happened to the trains? Trains are expensive, though. They they kind of expensive. Amtrak ain't no joke. Nah, I, ain't, I ain't ever been on the train, so I don't know. So I think that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to take the train. Okay, well, then that's your homework to actually do a train ride so you can have that experience. But, yeah, Amtrak, they kind of expensive. Uh, I was going to take a train. Actually, I was thinking about taking a train ride uh, from uh, Temple to Dallas just to just to take a ride. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't never been. I think the tickets are like, like I don't know how much they are, like 30, 40 bucks. But <laughs> he said, I don't know how much they are. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know how much the tickets are for, uh, just for a couple hours on the train. But uh, traveling in America is crazy right now. I suggest you don't do it. <laughs> I suggest so you don't do they, it. But it's, we going into the summertime. What they supposed to do with their kids? I don't know. I don't know. Stay do a staycation. Don't don't go out here in these highways. A staycation? <laughs> do a staycation. Go book a hotel. Go find the most expensive hotel in your city and book a couple nights there and go go get room service and and ball out. Cause that's what I like to do. I like to, I like to do that with my wife. We like to go check into the W or something, uh, just order room service and just ball out in the city that we in. And you ain't gotta spend over a thousand dollars. It's it's simple and cheap. Something you can do. Oh, okay. Oh, something I can do? Well, All I would right. have to do it alone because clearly no one wants me unless they're 85. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> there are so many guys that want to stop it because the minute but, we put I mean, this up but, there, but I'm going real, with, Like, real I'm talk, you. real talk, I, I do do stuff like that, and I do do it alone by choice. I do, yeah. I I travel alone. I always travel alone unless I take my homegirls with me. Occasionally, I might take my daughters, but for the most part, I travel by myself. Now, last year, I did all that traveling by myself, having fun, and I was like, okay, it's time for a bay. I need to have a vacation. Not a vacation, a mm-hmm. vacation. I still haven't had that shit, but um, I don't know. Maybe there's in lot, 2017, There is a I long will. line of suitors. There's a long line of suitors waiting to waiting to take you up on your so. offer. Yes, they are. You just gotta be. You just gotta open up your heart. <laughs> I 
see that's why I like see this is why I like doing video because I get to see that facial reaction. It's so much it's so much uh inward <laughs> please is coming out of this right now. <laughs> Open up my heart. <laughs> You want me to, you know, I was listening to a song yesterday that reminded me of me. I was like, dang, is, is am I that bad? What's this song? I recall you calling me, and that's another thing you said before. Yeah, because I'm, I'm going to have to go just reevaluate my whole life after this. Because when I came down there last year for Miss Brenda's concert, uh huh, the Southern Soul concert, right, over in that hangar. Yes, I remember okay, very well. You said, Y'all don't want to talk to her because she a savage. And so I'm sitting there listening to Needing Me because you said, if y'all hook up with her, you will be in the corner somewhere singing Rihanna's Needed Me. And I was like. I didn't say, I didn't say that. Somebody yeah, else said no, that. One of your friends said that. No, no, no. You said that. Don't have me pull the receipt. You said that. I, I know where this receipt is at. You and said I can pull that. It. You said that because somebody was saying that they was going to shoot they shot. And you said, no, no, don't do that. She a savage. You'll be in the corner singing Rihanna's needed me. But you said you was going, but you said you was going to commit to being a savage, though. I said I was going to what? Commit to being a savage. Well, after this, I am. After well, that, this, that, I am. And we discussed this before. In 2017, you probably have to be a savage about yours. And we said that. And you said you kind of agreed with me on that. You was like, yeah, you're probably right. But now you're saying you don't want to commit to being a savage? I ain't no savage. Saying? I'm a very loving person. I'm a lo very loving and caring person. However, like you sitting up here flipping, flopping with me, that's how y'all dudes do. You flipping, you flop. Ah, uh, uh, that's well, okay then. Uh, so that's what we have to be flipping and flopping. So won't you be flipping and flopping? You ain't got to be flipping and flopping, though. You just keep it like it is. Just stay in your lane. I, like, I am so simple that people mess it up. Just stay in your lane. I'm going to stay in my lane. You stay in your lane. They ain't going to listen. <laughs> they and are not going to listen. <laughs> you always be talking about I act like a dude. No, I didn't say you act like a dude. I said you think like a dude. That's the difference. You don't act like a dude. That's you. You're far from acting like a dude. I mean, but as far as thinking like one, yes. But there is also the line that you come to when it comes that separates you from a dude. And I, we discussed this before. That line is when it gets physical. Well, yeah, yeah. When it gets physical, you cut off that that dude mentality because you. That's, he said the that's dude not mentality. Who you are. <laughs> I mean, he I mean, said I got a dude mentality. <laughs> I mean, but how many times have you heard that, though? You've been told that repeatedly before that you have a tendency to think like a man. I, I have had, yeah, guys like, you sound like a man. It's like, you know, it's just, it's simple. Well, anyway, I'm going to be like a man now. We're going to wrap this up. Um, but <laughs> let me let y'all know something. Y'all can get at us at Jammin' on the Job. J-A-M-M-I-N on the Job. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. Instagram. You can even email us at jamminonajob at gmail. We own that. Google us. Yeah. Jamming on a job. See what comes That's up. Right. It's us. It's Shawnee Scott and Mel's on the MIC. And if your boss okay. ain't letting you jam on a job with us, then this punk ass is messing it up for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get in close on the video for that one. <laughs> well, we'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Peace, y'all. Who we hope? <laughs>